So in this video, we're going to go over how to find the equation of a normal line to a surface in space. And the idea is if we have a surface in space, so there's my 2D representation of a surface, and we have a point on the surface like this, and we want to find the equation of the, the normal line to that surface. What we're looking for is the equation of the line that is perpendicular to that surface. So it's gonna be a line that hits the surface at that point and that is perpendicular to that surface and hence perpendicular to its tangent plane. And what we've already discovered is that we can take a surface and create a function big F of x, y, z equal to zero such that when we calculate the gradient of F, the gradient of F is a vector that is perpendicular to that surface. And then we've already looked at how to find the equations of lines in space. We've said, hey, if we're in a three-dimensional coordinate system, if we want the equation of a line, get a vector to the line, or to, the, to a point on any point on the line, find a vector that takes us to any point on the line. So if we have a point on a surface, x naught, y naught, z naught, and we want the normal line at that point, the vector x naught, y naught, z naught gets us to the surface at the point we're interested in. And then the gradient is perpendicular to the surface. So the gradient will be parallel to the line perpendicular to the surface at that point. So to get the equation of a normal line, we can just take a scalar vector to the point plus a scalar times the gradient vector calculated at x naught y naught z naught because the gradient vector at that point is normal to the surface perpendicular to the surface so in general then what you're going to do is you're going to take your surface we'll subtract that four from both sides so that we get z minus x sine y minus four equals zero and then this becomes our big f of x y z so our big f of x, y, z is equal to z minus x sine y minus four. And again, the surface that we started with is the level surface of big F when big F is equal to zero. So the idea here is we need to calculate the gradient of F to get our normal line. So my normal line, we know we need to get from the origin to the point on the surface, but here's the point on the surface we're interested in. So a vector to that point will just be the vector six pi over six, seven. That gets us from the origin to the surface plus a scalar that can be any real number. And now we just need to find the gradient because the gradient is perpendicular to the level surface, big F equal to zero. So to calculate the gradient of F, we know that we need to take the partial derivative with respect to x, the partial derivative with respect to y, and the partial derivative with respect to z. So looking at our function f of x, y, z, the partial derivative of this function with respect to x, that'll mean that we're holding sine y constant. So it'll just be minus sine y. And then the partial derivative with respect to y, which means we hold x as a constant, it's just gonna be minus x cosine of y because derivative of sine is cosine. So minus x cosine of y. It's getting late in the day. And then the derivative, the partial derivative with respect to z is just gonna be the derivative of z, which is just one. And then to get the, this, so this vector gradient of f is perpendicular to uh, big F equal to zero at all possible ordered triples x, y, z, but we're interested in the, the normal line at a specific point. So we need to calculate the vector normal to the surface at the point six pi over six, seven, which is going to equal negative sine of y, but y is pi over six comma, negative x, but x is six, opposite of x is negative six 
times the cosine of y, but y is pi over 6, and z is just equal to 1. And then we need to simplify, so we get the opposite of the sine of pi over 6 is a half. We get negative 6 times the cosine of pi over 6 is the square root of 3 over 2, and this is just 1, and we can simplify this just a hair. So we get negative 1 half, negative 3 root 3 comma 1 for our gradient vector. So that we take, here's our vector to the line plus a scalar times the gradient vector evaluated at the point we're interested in. So we get negative 1 half, negative 3 root 3 comma 2. Now the vector that we use here the gradient vector is what I used, but I just need any vector perpendicular to the surface. So one thing that you can do if you want to, when you get a vector like the gradient of f, and you know that the gradient of f is perpendicular to that surface, but that also means that any parallel vector is, any, any, any vector parallel to the gradient vector is also perpendicular to the surface. So for example, if I had wanted to, I could scale this. I could go negative two times and then I'd get positive 1, 6 root 3, negative 2. This vector is also perpendicular to the surface at that point. And if I just need an equation of a normal line, I could just as easily have used this vector right here as I could have used this. When you're looking at answer keys, in general what you want to pay attention to is not just jump to the a conclusion whether you got the answer right or wrong because this vector here doesn't match exactly the one in the answer key. This should, the the vector getting you to the line when you're interested in a specific point should be the same but if you think you're wrong just check and make sure that this vector isn't just parallel to the one that you're using because if it is then you have the equation of the same line you've just described it using a different normal vector